ReZero, starting life in another world. The Prophecy of the Throne. <coughs> Hello guys, today we will be playing some more ReZero. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for stopping. My name is Otto Suen. I'm but a humble merchant. <coughs> During my current travels, I encountered the Dusk Bandits. A group of thieves who stole all my goods. Dusk Bandits? They are criminals known to have been bolstering their forces as of late. I did not realize their influence had extended so close to Lord Roswell. A considerable failure on my part. So what do you plan on doing, Otto? I'm sorry to hear about your cargo, but there isn't much we can do, I'm afraid. No, of course not. This is my responsibility. I wouldn't ask you to retrieve my cargo under such circumstances. However... Yes? The other traitors that were with me have been captured by the Dusk Bandits. I was able to catch the bandits off guard and flee. But the others are still in danger. I need to figure out a way to save them. Rem's duty is to safely escort Miss Amelia and Subaru to the Royal Capital. <coughs> so, while I hesitate to say... Aw, uh, come on. We gotta help him, dude. I get where you're coming from, Rem, but we can't just leave him on his own. It would seem so. That's right. Huh? Um, what do you mean? Otto, we're on our way to the royal capital for a very important occasion. Changing our plans to account for the rescue of your friends would be very difficult. The Dusk Bandits, was it? They're on the path to the capital. It wouldn't be our fault if they distract us along the way, right? That's right. It would be mere coincidence and at no fault of anyone here. Um, so are you saying... It means we're on board. Mili agrees to saving your friends from those bandits. Are you okay with that, Rem? We have no other choice. Yes, I support Miss Amelia's decision. I'm sorry, Ren, but it looks like we'll be taking a detour. No problem at all. You are not the type to sit idly by while bandits attack innocents, Miss Amelia. Well, there you have it, Otto. Show us the way to those bandits. I'll have you know you're in good hands. Everyone besides me knows how to put up a good fight. <laughs> he knows how to put up a good death. That's a relief. But do you not question the sanity of saying that aloud? This is so uncomfortable! I can't do much about it. We're not moving using the divine protection of Wind Repel. The difference is huge, though! That divine protection is really something! What is your choice? So, just how many bandits are we dealing with? During briefing parts, discussions about how to proceed through the mission ahead takes place centered around Subaru. I'm sorry, I don't have an exact number. All I know is that there are more than a handful. I see. Oh, now that I think about it, will any of your fellow traitors be helping us out? <coughs> they are just traitors, so even if you told them what to do, it would be difficult to fight against armed bandits. The dragon carriages are all fully loaded with cargo. So it would be hard to flee at a decent pace, too. Whoa, whoa! Don't tell me we came rushing out here and it's already too late! No, I don't think that to be the case. Their intention isn't to snuff out the traitors' lives. If the bandits killed their masters, the land dragons wouldn't follow any commands. They wouldn't be able to unload any cargo that way. But there's no guarantee the traitors will be spared afterward. Lucky for us. I doubt they've realized by now that I managed to slip away. They wouldn't be expecting a counterattack. So you're saying this is our big chance? Man, talk about walking a fine line. <coughs> anyway, you said they're just on the highway up ahead, right? What's the terrain like? Please provide us with as much information as possible. The more we know, the greater our advantage in the ensuing battle. Let's see. There's a bridge along the path. After crossing it, the place where everyone had been captured should be close by. We have to defeat the bandits before they harm the traitors further, right? Correct, but that's not all. 
there's another more narrow bridge along the way. It's incredibly small. Enough for only a single dragon carriage to pass through. If they manage to overtake it, that would make things even more difficult. Right. So we have to defend that bridge with everything we've got. Are there any other routes leading to them? There's a third bridge farther ahead of the previous two, but the bandits got there first and blocked it off. The amount of scattered cargo makes it impassable. Oh man. Scattered cargo, huh? But on the flip side, if we could use that bridge, we could get the jump on them, right? That would offer us a great vantage point if we could pass through it. But I think doing so would pose a great challenge. Well, I guess if the opportunity arises, we should consider ourselves lucky. Anything else? Is there anything you haven't told us yet? Let's see. It may be possible to use those, though it would be highly dangerous. What are those? Even if there's a risk, we should consider it if the outcome is favorable. Fire magic crystals. They fell out of a fellow trader's carriage when the bandits gave chase. It gave me a terrible fright. They were inside a box made to withstand the most arduous of transports, so the impact didn't disturb the magic crystals within. However, if they were to have exploded... Whoa. What is this? Essentially, fire magic crystals are the equivalent of petroleum or gunpowder in our world. <coughs> they can be used to illuminate lamps or even act as dynamite. They can explode upon impact, so it's fortunate that they didn't when they fell off the carriage. I see. It's true. Fire magic crystals would be handy to use against the bandits. We would just need to throw them and they explode, right? Yes. But handling them is somewhat of a problem on its own. There's always a risk of them exploding by mistake. Especially if you're prone to death. I understand. I'll try searching for those fire magic crystals first. Oh, and Otto, did anything else fall out of the carriages? We were in quite the rush, so I would imagine a whole slew of items did. I believe one dragon carriage was loaded with digging sticks, so it's possible some fell out. Digging sticks? Oh, you mean shovels? I see. Got it. I'll just try searching for anything that seems useful then. Subaru? What should Rem do? <coughs> you don't need to do anything special, do you? I doubt you'd lose to some measly bandits. Of course. Your Rem would never lose to such low lowlifes. <sighs> just as I thought. Then you just go around beating them up however you want, Rem. But if things get too dangerous, I want you to run away. Got it? Very well. What should I do, Subaru? I can hold my own against those thugs, too. Uh, you can... What could she do? I don't want her doing anything dangerous. Turning point. After progressing through the briefing parts, you will reach a turning point where Subaru states his opinion. Combine items and information that have been gathered to form a single opinion. Subaru will express the opinion once it's selected, which will affect how the mission unfolds. This discussion is about whether or not to have Amelia join the mission. Try selecting this first. Now what? Amelia, will you help me out? <laughs> Uh, on the condition you stay out of harm's way, of course. Don't you mean you should stay out of trouble, Subaru? You're far more reckless than me. I mean, she's right, though. I can't really deny that. But it still applies to you, too, you know. Right, too, though. <laughs> hey, that's not true. Puck, tell him. Uh, that's pretty tricky to answer. I do get where Subaru's coming from, so I don't really have anything to say on the contrary. Even you would turn your back on me, Puck. Now, now, don't be so down in the dumps. In the end, I'll be relying on you if it comes down to it, Puck. I know, Subaru. Leah's always got me by her side, so she'll be fine. Alright, the next up is... 
Mr. Natsuki, what about me? I'd like to do what I can to help. Right. Something for Otto to do. The next discussion is about determining Otto's role in the mission. Try making a selection for this now. I think... How about you back up Melee? While I'd like to myself, going around and doing minor tasks is more my style. You can leave her to me. Mr. Natsuki, please be vigilant. <laughs> yeah, I know. You be careful too. I forbid you to get too close to Melee though. Oh my goodness, he tried. How else would I protect her? If only I had two bodies, then I could back Melee up and do everything else I need to. Don't be weird. Besides, it would only cause more trouble if there were two of you. I'd be completely exhausted from all the talking. What? Really? I'd be super excited if there were two of you! No, wait. If there were two Melees, the excitement might just give me a heart attack. Rem would be greatly enthused with two Subarus. Rem would cherish them equally. Oh, it's so one-sided. Is it really okay to be talking about this right now? We're about to ambush some bandits, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's totally fine. We're always like this anyway. You're always... Will everything truly be okay with these people? It's fine, Otto. Everyone besides me is super strong. Oh my goodness. It's fine, he said. Let's see how that goes. That doesn't quite dispel my fears. Alright. I'll be Miss Amelia's bodyguard for the time being. We're counting on you, Otto. Of course. I'm not so capable that I could say that you should leave everything to me. But I should be of some use nonetheless. Otto, are we almost there? Yes, everyone fled somewhere around here. All right, then let's do this! For this briefing, it has been decided that Emilia will join the mission and Otto will support Emilia. Now let's take on the mission with these results in consideration. To the mission. The mission menu will be shown before the mission begins, where you can save, load, or check the status of the mission. Once preparations are complete, select Mission Start to begin. Now what? Let's do this! During a mission, Control Subaru to check characters and points of interest to fulfill conditions set for the objective. Comments displayed in the top right can serve as hints. Keep in mind that performing certain actions or allowing certain places to end can result in death or a game over. Try pushing the cart blocking the bridge to the left and using the check action. Okay, let's run this a go. Woo. This must be the other bridge Otto talked about. If we could cross it, we could get ahead of the bandits. Looks like it won't be easy though. It took too much time doing it the normal way. So then what do we do? The action gauge below Subaru will deplete as you move him. If the gauge becomes empty or if Subaru performs an action, his face will end. Every other character will then begin their faces and perform their own actions. Next, let's try approaching Rem and talking to her. Oh man. <coughs> Here we go. Let's go, let's run. Rem, are you okay? I am quite alright, Subaru. Please do not push yourself too much. What else can I do? Checking a character or point of interest can not only yield items, but it can change the circumstances of an event as well. So be sure to check everything you can. 
Now let's try taking the wooden box near the bridge to the right. Oh man. I won't forgive you! Uh oh. We gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go, go. <laughs> These must be the fire magic crystals Otto mentioned. They're glowing a bright red, so there's no mistake. Where can I throw these without being seen? You obtained a red glowing magic crystal item. This may help you deal with the bandits. Try approaching the bandits now, then select use and red glowing magic crystal from the item's screen. Oh, Ram will be your opponent! Where's the red glowing magic crystal? Oh, I need a- okay, maybe the event one? Yeah. Okay, red glowing magic crystal. It should be handled with care. Dust bandits in daylight. Okay. Uh-oh. Um. Should I use it here? Okay, let's see. Uh-oh. Guys, I'm gonna die! Ah! <laughs> oh man, what if I... What if I took the other ones? Oh man. I don't know what to do. Oh no! Ah! Try approaching the bandits now, then select use and red glowing magic from the item screen. Okay. Well, it's a tutorial, so I guess it's gonna let me get through with it. This is way too close. I need it to be a little further away. Now this is an optimal position. If I throw them from here, I won't get caught in the explosion. Suru decided it would be too risky to use it here. It seems that this item is too dangerous to use at close range. There's a spot near the boulder past the bridge where you should be able to hide and throw it from. Try using the red glowing magic crystal there. Oh man, what it, what? <coughs> I I can do this. Guys, oh no. I'm scared, but I want to check everything, but uh Should I? Oh, no, I'm going. Okay. Well, let's see how it goes, okay? If I die, I die. Okay, basically it just told me to run. Ah! Stop, stop. No! Oh. We're good. Alright! Okay. From here, I'll use these fire magic crystals. Oh no! Oh man, what I tell ya? What I tell ya? My body's so hot. I can't breathe. Amelia, everything's white. I can't hear a thing. Rem, did the magic crystals explode? That red glow, does that mean... Otto, is everyone okay? I hope they didn't get caught in the blast. Amelia... Amelia me Amelia I don't want to die Amelia This is so sad my Last breath my consciousness fades Yes, everyone fled somewhere around here. <laughs> Mr. Natsuki? He doesn't remember, bro. 
You won't have to do this all over again. Subaru, are you okay? You look really pale. Because he was dead a few seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> Subaru, what's the matter? Uh, I can't speak. I feel dizzy. Where am I? We're inside a dragon carriage. Rem is in the driver's seat and Amelia and Otto are in the carriage with me. I... I... I remember the magic crystal exploding, then... Uh, ah! Subaru, it's okay. Everything's fine. Uh, uh, really? The, the red crystal! It... It's alright, Subaru. Did you have a bad dream? Uh, dream? Was he sleeping? That was no dream. I definitely died from that magic crystal explosion. That means I returned by death to the moment before we encountered the dust bandits. But it's not like they'd believe me if I told them about my ability. In fact, mentioning anything about my return by death ability would be against the rules imposed on me. It, yeah. A dream. Well guys, to be honest, remember that idea I gave on the last video where he could write a journal? He could probably write it there. He doesn't have to say it. Maybe they can read it and then know, you know? But I mean, whatever, you know? <laughs> right. It was just a nightmare. What? You were asleep, Mr. Natsuki? But your eyes were wide open. Y'all see? Once you get on my level, sleeping with your eyes open is second nature. Impressive, no? <laughs> Is that really something to brag about? Never mind that. Leave everything to us. Just gotta keep an eye out for any red glowing magic crystals. So long as we look out for those, we should be fine. Are you sure? That does make me a little worried. No, really. Just relax. It's okay. Anyway. We're almost there, right? Is there anything we need to go over? Nothing from my end. If you're fine, then I am as well. Rem is ready whenever you are, Subaru. I'm good to go. Let's do this! The red glowing magic crystal exploded when Subaru tried to throw it. And he ended up dying as a result. When Subaru dies during the mission, you will return by death to the start of the mission and retain all memories and some items. Certain items will be lost upon death. Some missions lead to a bad end without dying, and you will restart at the point before the mission begins. In these cases, nothing will be retained from before death. <laughs> In many cases, events and character reactions unfold differently upon returning by death, so feel free to experiment. If you'd like to restart on gathering items or the briefing, go to the mission menu and select retry, then select before the briefing. Now let's take return by death into consideration and try again. No way. I failed. Okay, we're gonna go. We can somehow move all this cargo, then we could cross the bridge. Doing that would let us get the jump on those bandits. Okay. Ilogo. These must be the fire magic crystals Otto mentioned. Alright, got the fire magic crystals. They'd be pretty bad if I got caught up in the blast. I need to throw them from a good vantage point. guys let's see how this goes tons of pretty flowers are blooming in this area if we weren't in this situation i'd love to have a nice little picnic here oh man 
I won't forgive you! Didn't she say, um, something about, um, oh my god, something about, oh no, something about trouble. I'll be your opponent. Red glowing magic crystals. These red magic crystals are dangerous. Who knows when they could explode? I've already experienced that firsthand. I should get away before they explode. Oh my god. I I can do this! Uh right here? This seems like a good spot to throw them. It's too far away. I was so close. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my god. Over here? What's what's back here? Well, found some fire magic crystals. I don't really need any more. But I should remember where these are just in case. Yeah. Come on guys. Ooh, that's good. Damn, what do I do? Okay, okay, come on. If we could move this cargo, we could cross the bridge. What cargo? Let me just fight him. This way, this is way too close. I need to be a little further away. But you, but you blew up last time. All right then. He knows I don't. If I time it well, this otherworldly dynamite will explode him up real good. Right here goes. Please, hit the mark! Ah! Yes! I should be able to move for a while with this. Don't resent me. I'm desperate too. Damn, what do I do? Many? There's just one. Oh man, what the heck do I do? Right here, right here! Oh, she's tough. Okay, I'm not gonna say it. Let's go. Okay. Got some more fire magic crystals. Now I can proceed with the next part. Woohoo! Guys, this is going really well, but I mean, the other characters are doing really bad, from what I can tell. Oh, come on. Let's go! Just because they're the last one standing doesn't mean I can get careless. No way I'm gonna screw this up at the last minute. Say your prayers! Oh Alright! They've all been stopped now. Whew. Good job if I say so myself. Get them! I didn't know they had reinforcements! Gosh dang it. Beat him up, man. Beat him up. Super! What should we do? Beat him up. <laughs> what? I wasn't really sure what would have happened when the bandits called in their reinforcements. But we managed to hold our own somehow. It's all thanks to you guys. We would have been in real trouble, even with Amelia and Rem on our side. <laughs> huh? Am I just straight up being ignored here? <laughs> Sorry about that. Solemn just doesn't really talk much. It causes all sorts of misunderstandings. Oh, okay. I'm actually pretty relieved to hear that. I was worried he was giving me the cold shoulder or something. Anyway, thanks a bunch for the help. You're very welcome. I'm Puka, and this guy here is Solemn. 
I'm Subaru Natsuki, and this is... I am Rem, Mr. Solemn, and Miss Puka. Thank you very much for your assistance. Puck and Puka? <laughs> no need for formalities. It's not like we're demanding gratitude or anything like that, right, Solemn? <laughs> Say something for once, will you? <laughs> you two seem to get along really well. You're quite the pair. Mm hmm. It's quite a beautiful friendship. Though Lee and I are pretty close ourselves. Oh? You two are like us then? Yes, we are. I'm sorry for the late introduction. I am Amelia. This here is Puck. I'm a spiritual arts user like you. So we're in the same line of work then. Nice to meet you. Thanks for helping earlier. Oh, it was nothing. Besides... Uh, hey, wait a minute. Did she just say your name is Puck? Don't tell me. Hmm? Um... Don't react like that if you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not even talking to you here. More importantly... Are you... I'm sorry. Oh, great one. But could you by chance be one of the four great spirits? Oh, come on, don't be so dramatic. Most of the rumors surrounding me may be true, but as you can currently see, I'm just a cute little football. You sound pretty sarcastic when you put it that way, like you're hiding your true abilities or something. It's not my fault you took it that way. Just look at how charming I am. You're so mean. Yeah, but... Ah! <gasps> Subaru! Hey, you! How dare you insult a great spirit like that? What the heck? She attacked him? The four great spirits are an entirely different league than your run-of-the-mill spirits. Show some respect! Now, now, no need to get so upset. Really, there's no need to be so formal. You can just call me Puck, like the plain old spirit I am. I, I, I could never do such a thing. Oh, great spirit! As spirits have their own social hierarchies, huh? Is Puck really that amazing? Yes, my Puck is truly amazing. <laughs> you should really watch out, because that little squirrel thing, she gonna attack him. Everyone! The traitors you saved would like to offer you their thanks! Oh, right. Then Puka and Salem should. Puka, it's time. Yeah, I know. Looks like we'll be taking our leave now. Wait, what? Now? But the traitors want to thank you two. <laughs> we appreciate the gesture, but we really do need to get going. We'll be excusing ourselves now. You guys go take the credit in our place. Well, see ya! Uh, Solemn, Puka, thank you again for helping us. I hope we get to see you again soon. Yeah. Wow, you actually replied! I feel the same way, of course. They seem nice. I like them. Hmm? What's that, Subaru? I just felt like sending them off with that. But I guess now we should bask in the glory of our achievements. Bask in the glory? Of our achievements? Good grief. That's Subaru for you. <laughs> Yep, we're gonna save gas. I'll jot it down. Listen up, everyone! Do you realize who's before you? This is the exalted adjutant general! Adju what now? Whoops! <laughs> I got carried away there. Uh she doesn't have a royal pillbox or a cherry blossom tattoo to define her authority. My bad. Well then, Mr. Natsuki, please continue. Though it seems she's not this exalted adjutant general you think she is. Ahem! <clears throat> That's right! She's no mere adjutant. She's our next ruler! Ruler? I remember hearing about this at the royal capital. There's supposedly been some rumblings surrounding the royal castle's decision to crown the next ruler. Yeah, that! This beautiful young lady is participating in that very same royal selection to become the next ruler. The Great Miss Amelia! 
Yeah! Hey, Subaru. What? It's not something to keep hidden. You should tell it to the world. This is a good opportunity for us. But I didn't help these people as some sort of publicity stunt. Your humility is one of your greatest virtues, Melee. But you really should advertise your position more. Don't you agree, Rem? Yes. How perceptive of you, Subaru. Rem is quite impressed. You too, Rem? Anyway, it's the great Amelia who saved you all. Don't forget to tell your friends, family, and enemies all about her. <laughs> Subaru, you're blowing this out of proportion. Ah! Mili, what's wrong? <laughs> Sorry about that. A bug just flew into my hood is all. I see, I see. Even bugs can't resist your charm and fly right toward you. Your beauty is a deadly sin, Mili. <laughs> Sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey, could that be... Yeah, what with her silver hair and purple eyes and those pointy ears. Oh my goodness. A silver-haired half-elf. Huh? Why'd it get so serious all of a sudden? <laughs> you alright, Leah? Yes, I'm fine. I expected as much. <coughs> hmm? What's going on here? I can't believe we were saved by that half-devil girl. And she's a candidate for the throne? The heck? Hey, watch your tongue. They stuck their necks out for us. You can't deny that, no matter who they are. True that, true that. You say that, but doesn't that make you feel a bit conflicted? To be honest, I'm torn. Not to mention the fact that that half-devil girl is a royal candidate. <sighs> Mr. Natsuki? Everyone? Thank you for everything. You're leaving already? Yes, thanks to you, I've got all my cargo back. I just need to catch up on lost time and regain my profit in Gusteco. I'm sorry, I would love to buy you a drink to repay you for your help, but we are in a bit of a hurry. Think nothing of it. If you could just remember to tell everyone you meet about Melee, that'd be more than enough. Of course, you can count on me. Everyone may have gotten a bit nervous back there, but I'm rooting for you, Miss Amelia. Nervous? No, man, they were hostile. It makes me so happy to hear you say that. Do be careful out there, Otto. Of course. I want you to know that they aren't bad people. I know they'll remember this day. I give you my word on that. Though it may not be worth much. No, it does put my mind at ease. Thank you. <laughs> well said, Otto. You sure have grown. How do you know about my life? <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, you're still around? I thought you had to take off, too. I do. But I can't shake this awful feeling about what happened earlier. Hey, don't worry about it. He's right. I'm okay, so please, don't worry yourself over it. Besides, we just so happen to pass by and help. There's no need to feel like you owe us anything. Things may have gotten a little weird because of Subaru's ramblings. But I already knew my candidacy to the throne would be no easy task. Please, don't beat yourself up. In fact, I'm grateful for having met someone like you. Grateful? But you were the one who saved me. I should be grateful to you. Porque no los dos? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it kind of funny how that worked out? She's the one who's thankful for having met you. You want to show her your appreciation, but she shows you hers instead. Kind of throws you off, doesn't it? But that's Melee for you. Besides, I want to thank you too. I feel like everything we did was worth it for having met you in the end. You at least support Melee becoming the next ruler, right? Of course. You have my full support. And I believe my caravan will offer theirs as well. Please come visit us sometime. We'll introduce you to our leader then.
the heck? I think we're supposed to go to the, to this place. Oh yeah, look, it's right there. I think that's the sign. All right, royal capital, here we come. Yes, let us be off, Subaru. We finally made it to the capital after all that, but... There are so many people. <sighs> you guys are awesome! I can't thank you enough for defeating those Dusk Bandits. Thank you so much for avenging my husband. Uh, oh, no. We just happened to be passing by. I'm glad we managed to bring you some peace of mind, and... Neely looks like she's lost for words. Everyone seems to have heard of our accomplishment already. Did one of the traitors we helped tell them the news? Certainly goes to show how infamous those bandits are, I guess. I didn't think it'd be such a big deal. Though, I didn't really help out much myself. Thank you so much. Everyone is much more at ease now. Uh, huh? Oh, it was nothing. Um, judging by your outfit, are you a nun? Oh, um, pardon me for being so rude. After hearing of your great deed, I wanted to personally give you a word of thanks. It saddens me deeply whenever I hear of someone having been harmed by the Dusk Bandits. But the citizens have nothing to fear any longer. I cannot thank you enough for what you have done. Yeah, she's right. It's true. Miss Amelia, thank you so very much. Huh? Oh, um... I only did what anyone else would do. Welp, you heard her, Mealy. This is another chance to sell yourself up. Give them your biggest smile and shout out, Victory! Uh Victory! Uh, Subaru, you jerk! This isn't the time for that! Anyway, listen up, everyone! Please keep Melee, no, Miss Emilia in mind, and show her your support in the upcoming selection! Oh my goodness. Now then, Miss Emilia, Subaru, Rem will prepare your lodging arrangements. Oh, right. Thanks, Rem. Remember who's staying here, so make sure to get an in fit for a king. Oh, stop that. Rem, pay no mind to Subaru. Do you know the inn Roswell usually stays at? That will do just fine. I apologize, Subaru. I did want to do as you asked of me, but... Don't give me those puppy dog eyes! Besides, the inn Roswell stays at is pretty pricey too, isn't it? I'll walk around the royal capital with Neely in the meantime. There's someone I'd like to pay a visit to, anyway. All right, then. Miss Amelia, please take care of Subaru. Yes, leave him to me. I won't take my eyes off him. Shouldn't it be the other way around? <laughs> okay, so what does it want me to do? Looking for the shopping district? It's straight ahead. Shopping district, straight ahead. And um, let's see. This way, Neely. Let's go to the shopping district. Okay, okay. There's no need to rush. Here, hold on to my hand. Oh my goodness, he's gonna die. Quite the crowd, eh? It gets even wilder during the festivals. Who that? Who that? <sighs> We're here. Man, this place really takes me back. So, you said that person who helped you is somewhere around here? Yeah, he's the first person I met here. It's about time for our tearful reunion. Then you better remember to thank him. Right. I also want to show him that I'm still alive and kicking. You made him worry that much? <laughs> if you're looking for Kataman's shop, it's that way. Okay, I know, but like, what? Okay, this? Hey, Melee, I'm really having some mixed feelings about all this, so why don't we stop this thing? Absolutely not. Knowing you, Subaru, you'll just go off on your own and do something weird if I let go of you. 
I won't allow you to walk around by yourself while we're in the royal capital. So I absolutely refuse to let go of your hand. Understand? If I'm being honest, I feel more like a child when you hold my hand like this. Really now? You couldn't stop talking about how much you wanted to hold hands when we went on our date in the village. Well, I was way more prepared for it back then. I'm not really feeling it right now. Besides, my hands are getting really sweaty. I hate to say this to the heroes who defeated the Dusk Bandits, but could you stop being so dang lovey-dovey in front of my shop? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to deter any potential customers from stopping by. Aw, oh, come on. Don't shrug us off like that. I was pumped up to fulfill my end of the bargain, but it's like you've completely forgotten. You're the first guy I talk to in this fantasy world, so I'm here to return the favor. I really don't know what you're going on about. We only talked for a hot minute about a month back, right? I kinda remember, but... Subaru, don't be unreasonable. Sir, please don't pay him any mind. I followed along because he wanted to say hi to someone who took care of you. I never would have guessed it was a one-sided promise on your end. I can't believe you. You can't make light of a pact made between men, Neely. You're still asking for too much. Don't you have any idea how many people these shopkeepers have to keep up with daily? Never overestimate someone, Mealy. A shopkeeper with such a scary face couldn't possibly have such a thriving... Ow, ow, ow! Sorry, I'm sorry! Please don't pull on my ear! <laughs> don't be rude! Yes, ma'am! Oh, right. That pathetic display of yours just reminded me. You're that kid who didn't have a single coin on him. That ingrate who left without buying anything. Setting aside what triggered your memory, I said I came back here to repay you! Calm down. Man, to think you were with the group who fought off those bandits. Here, that appa I promised you. How many are you gonna buy? They're usually two bronze coins, but being the hero and all, I can give you a little discount. Go big or go home, so I'll take ten. Consider it interest and waiting so long to pay you back. Don't worry about the discount either. Uh, Mealy? Why are you taking out your wallet? You can't pay him without money, right? Oh my god. It's <laughs> not what I mean! Hey, now, are you really gonna make the lady pay for you? Kinda makes you look like a deadbeat, don't you think? You're right. Oh, come on! Did you not just hear me trying to pay for it myself? Maybe if you cleaned your ears out every once in a... As I turned around, I see a guy rocking a rather av avant-grade appearance, combining an iron helmet and mountain bandit fashion. This guy's up to something. Where I come from, cops would be all over you, even on Halloween. That's a bit much, don't you think? I have feelings too, you know. Hmm? Halloween? Al, what are you doing playing around here? You have some nerve leaving me unattended. Oh, my bad, princess. I just happened upon something interesting and couldn't help myself. Fool. You think that qualifies as an excuse? Do not forget your position as my personal jester. Know that if you do, your head will be separated from the rest of your body. Yeah, yeah. A guy in an iron helm suddenly appears along with a red-haired beauty. And my eyes widen in surprise. These two are something else, I gotta say. <laughs> Subaru, let's go. We have business to attend to. Huh? H hold on. I'm still in the middle of shopping. Amelia suddenly tugs at my sleeve, hurrying me along. I quickly grab a nearby appa and try to finish up my purchase. But... Here there, commoner. What is that you hold in your hand? None of your beeswax. Huh? Are you talking to me? Who else is there? Answer me. So haughty. It's just an appa, in all its unsold leftover glory. Now shut it, will ya? This is an appa? What foolishness. Huh? An appa is a white fruit. It is not red like this one. Um, princess? Don't tell me. Is she colorblind? White? I mean, it is if you peel it. 
Oof. Oh my god, no. <laughs> She's that spoiled? Wait, have you never seen an unpeeled apple before? How sheltered are you? It is true that I have never seen one off the dining table. Shopkeeper, are you certain this is an apple? Yeah, I'm sure. Hey, give me a sec. I'll prove it to you. The shopkeeper pulls out a knife and splits an apple in half. See? It's white on the inside. Convinced now? Not quite. Give it to me. I will check how it tastes. You have the money? You think I'll just let you taste it for free? That's pretty brazen of you. Al, pay the man. Alrighty then, here you go. Thanks for the purchase, but I'm gonna have to ask you to leave once you're done. I've got a business to run here. Sweet and... Oh, tangy. Yes, this is indeed an apple. Shopkeeper, commoner. It seems you have both eluded death for the time being. What exactly were you gonna do to us if we were lying? Come on, Subaru. Can we go already, please? Wait, hang on, Mealy! You're gonna stretch out my sleeve! What? What's wrong? You've been acting weird. Hmm. I quite like this. Shopkeeper, these are all appas that are on display, correct? Yeah. I shall purchase them. I will take everything you have. What the heck? Now hold on just a minute. I was here first. These appas are a testament of the promise between him and me. I don't know about all that, but it's true that he was here first. You'll have to wait your turn. Fool. You misunderstand me. What now? I told you I will take everything. Your appas, your wares, and everything else you sell. I will purchase it all. Is she crazy? But all of it? That is correct. I will be taking every single one of your wares. Al, his payment. Here you go. What the heck? Thank you kindly. Everything's sold out for the day. Hey! Bruh. Sorry, bud. I'm closed for the day. Come by some other time for those appas. Sorry to say, but I never really promised you anything. I'm moved by your sense of duty, but I do run a business at the end of the day. It only makes sense for me to prioritize other customers with deeper pockets. It's nothing personal. You two-timer! <laughs> this shopkeeper merely understands the ways of the world. These appas all belong to me now. Damn it! After I came all this way to buy some, too. This little rat knows not its place. Trying to steal my apples from me. Weren't you the one who took them from me? I'm the victim here! What are you talking about? I have simply offered a payment to the shopkeeper to receive the requested products he sells. Whoever he decides to sell it all to is entirely up to him. Why, you? Buying your way in the world, huh? I never expected capitalism to rear its ugly head here. I mean, dude, she's right, though. Hey, bro, there's no hard feelings here. The princess just doesn't budge once she sets her mind on something. Just think of it as a dog nipping at your ankles and let it go. Fool. No dog exists that is as beautiful as me. I don't know. Don't get all carried away just because you're somewhat attractive. I've got someone just as beautiful right here, too. Hey, Subaru. Dude, she clearly doesn't want anything to do with her, so... The heck. I try to bring Amelia's radiance into the limelight of this sketchy duo, but for some reason, she keeps herself hidden behind me. Oh, yeah. Where should I have all your goods sent to, my lady? I will send a dragon carriage to pick them up at a later time. You may pack them upon its arrival. You got it. But can I get your name and residence? Just in case. I am Priscilla Bariel. You can call me Al, by the way. We live in that flashy mansion right past the plaza. You can't miss it once you're over there. I don't care about all that. And I still don't like that you took all his stock, either. Oh, don't say that. I have a feeling we'll be seeing a lot more of each other from now on. Huh? 
What's that supposed to mean? Al, it is time to leave. Stop wasting such precious time dealing with that commoner. Yeah, yeah. See you around, bro. I sure wasn't expecting that. Now I gotta put up a sign saying I'm all sold out. I'm really disappointed in you. You just sold your soul to that she-devil. The only thing I sold is my shop's goods. And did I hear you start calling her my lady for a second there? Unless I misheard you, you were talking way more formally just now. It's common practice for a businessman to show his more high-profile clients some due respect. I'd be calling you a lord too if you bought out my whole shop like that. Oh, I see how it is. Sorry about that, Melee. Since I can't buy any appas, let's just keep walking around. Yes. Priscilla and Al, huh? Just who the heck are they? Mm. Jerks. <laughs> well, the royal capital's a big place, so I doubt we'll ever see them again. So what now? Subaru, you should hurry along to Crochet's Manor. Right. We don't have any business here. Crochet's Manor. Um... Back alley. Uh, um, uh, I guess I'll take the back alley. No, no, no. We're gonna have to go that way, right? Hey, Melee. Wanna check out the plaza? Hmm. Alright. Is something going on there? I don't know. This one here. Get Crestor Manor. Which one did she say? The Royal Palace and Crestor Manor. Let me ask her one more time. Let's hurry, Subaru. I don't want to keep Crochet waiting. Right. I don't know who this Crochet person is, but let's get going. Rem's waiting for us there, right? Yes, she should be. Um, I guess it's gonna be where the manor is? Let's go, Subaru. Crochet's manor is this way. What? I'm gonna go ahead and go. Okay, Melee. Let's go to that Crochet person's manor. This place is huge, even by royal capital standards. Okay, guys, we're gonna leave it off right here. Um, thank you for watching. If you'd like, please look at the description down below. Uh, I think I'll start dropping in random links to random things. Um, I thought it'd be a cool thing to do. So, thank you for watching, and please leave a like and comment. Share if you'd like, and have a great day.